Hey everybody, welcome back for another Tips and Tricks Tuesday. Today we're going to go over cleaning our catalytic combustor in our Nova Series line. So before we get started, just a couple do's and don'ts. Um, first of all, what we recommend using is a soft bristled brush or a vacuum attachment that also has softer bristles on it. This is the best way to clean it and pretty much the only way that we recommend doing it as this will allow it not to hurt the combustor or remove any of the uh, special coating that is on the steel. So some of our don'ts would be um, not using pipe cleaners as again, that will remove the special coating as well as any sort of compressed air because that will also contribute to that. Um, another don't is not banging it on anything as this will either potentially damage it or cause that special coating to flake off. So before we get started, just want to run through a couple of steps to be ahead of time. So the first one will be removing the flame shield that sits directly on the inside of the opening for our combustor. After that, we're going to remove the combustor retaining peg. The combustor retaining peg is going to sit in two holes that sit directly in front of the combustor. And if you do have one of our older rear vent only models, please note that you will not have this peg. Now our next step will be removing the combustor. If you have any questions on this, please visit our YouTube channel as we do have a whole separate video on how to do this process. So let's get started. So after the initial clean that we do today, if you find that it's not performing nearly as well as expected, or you look and some of the cells are caked up, uh, the one solution that we can use is a four to one ratio of distilled water and vinegar. So by doing this, it's an overnight soak, which is followed up afterwards with an air dry as we cannot apply any extra air as we've already discussed. After that, your combustor is good to use again. Now that we have cleaned our combustor, we've put our retaining peg back in place and our flame shield, we're ready to burn again. We appreciate your time and please stay tuned for more tips and tricks and fire Fridays.